Most people in life are familiar with the concept of body image. Body image is a person's feelings and experiences of their body, their reflection in a mirror, their view of what God has gifted them or their genetics and their hereditary sources that essentially create what they look like in that mirror. Now what we learn from television programs is that we don't exactly see ourselves correctly even if we look in a mirror. But that's not the point. We get a decent enough image today in a mirror compared to long ago when we got really blurry stuff, meaning, you know, turn of the century time, that we cannot really talk to people about their body image. And here's why. There are people that are 300 and 400 pounds that are totally content, totally happy with their physique. They like themselves. They have no worries about their body image. They say, I'm just a big bone gal, or I'm just a big player. And men like to be that size because it gets them the ladies, at least some of them, if they have a good personality and they're not a dipshit all the time. Those people also don't typically wear their pants below their britches or below their packages. We'll save it at that. But what we also know is that people have different preferences for their clothes. And their different preferences are whether or not they're going to wear something tight, which might be considered sort of a little appropriate or inappropriate depending on what they're doing and where they're going and the situation that they're exploring. At the same time we have people who much prefer clothing loose. Not so loose that it's falling off their body but loose enough that they have freedom of movement and freedom from being bound by the clothing. You see everybody's different and you in your opinions on my life or anyone else's life do not have the right to resize my manufactured clothing. And here's why. There are laws that protect the designer's garment. How a designer designs a garment is exactly how that designer designs the garment. Now, if you are the owner of that garment, of that fabric, of that clothing, then you, of course, can make some modifications. But if you are not the legitimate owner of that garment, and you've not been employed or given permission by the owner of that garment, you do not have the right to resize a shirt or resize pants or modify pockets to make it easier for your people who are pilfering to put your hands in their pockets.